Good day. So let's have another example for the shear and moment diagrams for, for beams. Okay, for example, we have this beam AB loaded as shown. Okay, to start our solution, okay, let us uh, first compute for the support reactions. So let's say we have R sub A. This is assumed to be upward reaction at A. And R sub B also assumed to be upward. Okay, so we have a uniformly distributed load of 30 newtons per meter for a span of 10 meters on our uh, beams, uh, on our beam. If we are to compute for the single equivalent force, let's say this is uh, the W, basically equal to the area of the rectangular loading. So this is uh, 30 newtons per uh, meter multiplied by the segment's length, that is uh, 10 meters. So canceling meter, that is 30 times 10, we have Okay, at 300 newtons and it is acting okay, midway or mid length of the segment okay, this is assumed to be at 5 meters from from point B alright so we may now do summation of moments at A so this is okay, we have the summation of moments at A equal to 0 assuming clockwise moments to be positive. So we have the concentrated load that is 300 newtons at a distance of 5 meters from A. We have an applied moment. This is 800 newton meter. This is already a moment. So no need for a lever arm. So this is plus 800 plus okay, from our uniformly distributed load that is 300 at a distance of okay, 5 plus 8, 13 plus 3, 16 plus 5 that will be at a distance of 21 meters from A minus the reaction at B okay, for the total length of the beam that is 13 plus 3 plus 10 we have 26 meters equal to a 0 so we, we have the reaction at B is now equal to so this is okay, we have 300 by 5 plus 800 then plus 300 multiplied by 21 this is divided by 26 meters so we have the reaction at B 330.769 this is 330.769 newtons and it is upwards so we have an upward reaction at B I told compute for the uh, vertical reaction at A. This is summation of forces vertical equal to zero, upward forces to be uh, positive. So we have R sub A okay, plus the reaction at B. This is 330.769. And okay, then I okay, minus concentrated load minus uh, the uniformly distributed load is now equal to a zero. So we have now the reaction at A. This is, okay, that is 330.769 minus 300 minus 300. So we have that as 269.231. Okay, it is negative to be transposed. Okay, it, okay, it will give us a positive value of okay, 269.231 newtons. And it is also okay, an upward reaction. Okay? So we are now ready to draw our uh, diagrams. All right, so we have on the left end of the beam starting at A, uh, we may introduce new points on our beam. So we have, uh, we have already point B. Let's say on this concentrated load 300 is point C, on the moment is point D. Uh, then starting point of the uniformly distributed load will be, let's say, point E. All right, so we have the reaction at A. We have the value of the reaction at A is equal to 269.231 point, uh, two, newtons. And the reaction at B right, is equal to uh, 330.769 point, uh, newtons. Okay, so starting on the left end of the beam, let's say this is at uh, point A, so we start at zero, but we have a support reaction of 269.231. Uh, so we go up, 
rate of magnitude of okay, this is 269.231 newtons okay, if you are to observe on our beam we don't have a load from A to C so which means okay, we are to maintain this magnitude of shear this is okay, 269 this is 269.231 okay, at point C we have that concentrated load of 300 newtons so we do the summation Okay, 269.231 minus 300. Okay, we have 230 at 269.231 okay, minus the concentrated load, 300 newtons at point C. It okay, will give us a negative value, negative 30.769. So we go down since that is already negative. It a value of a negative 30.769. Again, if you are to observe our beam on span or on this segment, uh, from C to D, we don't have a shear. I from D to E, we don't have a shear. I for span C D and D E, I we don't have a shear. So take note that. Uh, this moment, the 800 newton meter has nothing to do with the shear diagram since uh, basically it is a moment. So we are to maintain this value, uh, this magnitude of uh, shear, the 30.769 uh, up to point E. Okay, so from C to D, we have a constant value of the shear of negative 30.769 newtons. Okay, then we have at point E, that is the starting point of our okay, uh, uniformly, distributed, uniformly distributed load. So we have to do now is uh, do the summation. This is negative 30.769 and we have a downward load of 30 newtons per meter or a single equivalent force of uh, 300 newtons okay again we are to observe the degree of our graph if this is a zero degree loading on our on our beam so our shear diagram will have a first degree so we do the summation that is negative 30.769 minus the single equivalent force of the uniformly distributed load 300 uh, will give us a value of negative 330.769 and it should be uh, a first degree graph or is a line uh, downward to the right uh, with a magnitude now uh, of shear negative 330.769 uh, newtons uh, we have at b we have a support reaction of 330.769 upwards. So we do the summation, negative 330.769 plus 330.769. Obviously, that will give us a, a value of 0 for equilibrium. So this will be our uh, detailed shear diagram. Right, for our moment diagram, right, we may use the areas, right, the area of our shear diagram right, to draw our right, moment diagram. So again, right, the magnitude of the moment or the value of the moment is basically equal to, we can have it as the area of the shear, right, area of a shear diagram. So we have at A, starting on the left end of the beam, so since there is a, uh, uh, a pin support or a hinge support, obviously, okay, the moment at that point should be uh, 0. So we have to place the name of the points. This is point A. This is point C. Okay, somewhere here, if you have to project the location of the applied moment, 800 newton meter is at, this is at point D. And the starting point of uh, the uniformly distributed load is I uh, point E. And uh, on the other end is I uh, point B. 
all right so how do you compute for the moments so again at at a that is a hinge uh, support so the moment is equal to zero all right now we are to uh, ready to compute for uh, the moment at c okay we have the value of the moment at c is the magnitude of the moment at a plus the area of the shear diagram for the segment uh, from points a to uh, points a to c all right so uh, if you are to observe our a shear diagram this is a horizontal line so it means this is a zero degree uh, curve at zero degree graph if we are to proceed on our moment diagram i will increase the degree by one degree uh, that is the same as area of a uh, rectangle for a span of five meters so we have the moment at c is equal to the moment at a is zero the area of the shear diagram from A to C is 269.231 for a span of 5 uh, meters. So we'll be having the moment at C is now equal to, okay, the moment at C is 269.231, and this is multiplied by 5 meters. That's 1346.155. 1346.155. One fifty-five. This is moment, so we have a unit of newton a meter, and it should be a first degree graph. So this is from zero to I from zero to a value of let's say this one thousand three hundred forty-six point one five five. Again, so this is one three forty six point one five five. Okay, this is the moment at or the magnitude of the moment of C and the magnitude or the degree of the graph is is first degree. Okay, right, then we have okay, the segment CD. Okay, we need to determine this area. I okay, from points uh, okay, between these two points, uh, point C and uh, point D. Again, this is only a uh, rectangle. Okay, we are using point D as a reference point for a reason. We have an applied moment of 800 Newton meter at a point D. So that will be what will be the magnitude of the moment at D. Or we have the moment at D. This is. Uh, let's say we have the moment at D is now equal to okay, the moment at C. I plus the area of the shear diagram for the segment CD. Okay, computing for that moment, okay, that is only a rectangular area uh, with a height of negative 30.769 and it is 8 meters long. Okay, we have the magnitude of the moment at C. Okay, we have the moment at D is now equal to 1346.155 plus the area of the shear diagram from C to D is equal to okay, negative, this is negative 30.769 okay, multiplied by 8 meters. Okay, that is okay, negative 30.769 times 8 meters. Okay, we have the moment at D is not equal to. That's 1346155 from our previous point. Okay, plus, this is, that is negative uh, 30.769, and this is multiplied by 8 meters. Equals, we have 1100.003, the moment at D. We have 1100.003 newton a meter. And it is a negative. Uh, no, it is a negative shear. So which means if it is negative shear, okay, on our moment diagram, it is okay, it is aligned okay, downward to uh, the right.
This is 1100.003 newton meters. So we have again at point D, uh, we have an applied moment of 800 newton uh, meter. And uh, we are to observe its uh, direction, it is a clockwise moment. Uh, we are assuming that clockwise moments are uh, positive. So I uh, will be having two values of moments. Uh, let's say this is now the uh, two moments at point D. Let's say this is the moment at D prime or the second point. This we have the initial moment of 1100.003. Okay, we are to add okay, the applied moment 800 newton meter. Again, we are adding this uh, moment for a reason. It is a okay, it is a clockwise moment or a positive moment. So we have now a okay, moment at D prime. That is our initial moment of 1100.003 plus okay, 800 newton uh, meter. So we have the moment at D prime. Let's say this is the moment at D prime is now equal to 1,800 point or no, that is 1,000. Okay, 1,900 point uh, zero zero three newton a meter. Since that is an applied moment, all we have to do is add that value to this uh, moment of 1,100, and we are uh, we are going up from 1,100.003. I to a value of I to a value of 1900.003 so this is uh, the moment we have 1900.003 newton a meter all right then we now proceed to our next point our next point is uh, our next next segment is a uh, de so for de uh, this is uh, three meters long A segment D is 3 meters long with a magnitude of negative 30.769. Uh, so computing for the moment at E. Well, this is the moment at E is equal to okay, the moment at D plus the area of the shear diagram for segment. Okay, this is for segment DE. Okay, we have the moment at E. Our previous moment at D is equal to 1900.003 okay, plus, okay, again, that, that area is a negative area for the shear. So that is, okay, we have negative 30.769. This is multiplied by its span, that is 3 meters. Okay, we have the moment at E is now equal to I 1800.003 plus I uh, previously we add 800 that's 1900.003 now we are to subtract I uh, 30.769 uh, this multiplied by 3 meters so we have at uh, that moment is 1807.696 that's 1807.696 1807.696 uh, newton meter okay, and our uh, moment diagram again this is a neg uh, negative shear okay, for segment DE negative shear so we go down to the right okay, so with a magnitude of A magnitude of uh, 1000. This is 1807.696 uh, newton a uh, meter. Since I uh, downward to the right for a reason, it is a, a negative shear. So our moment diagram so far are, is a uh, first degree. Okay. On our shear diagram for segment EB, okay, this is a first degree graph. So which means on our um, moment diagram it should be a second degree graph all right let us observe these uh, points okay, we have at point e okay, at point e what is the magnitude of the shear the magnitude of the shear is equal to negative uh, 30.769 then we have 
Uh, at point B, we have the magnitude of the shear is negative 30, uh, 330.769. Okay. What will be the opening of the curve? Okay. What is the appearance of a curve? Uh, no. What is the appearance of a tangent line with a negative slope? So tangent line with a negative slope, let's say this is negative 30, that is, let's say, slightly, slightly downward to the right. This is also a negative slope, negative 330.769. Since okay, numerically this is higher, this is more inclined compared to okay, that tangent line at point E. More inclined downward to uh, the right. So, for example, we are to assume that these are tangent lines, tangent lines, and we are to consider points uh, E and point B. How do we connect these two points? By a curve. It should be a curve that opens downward. Okay, it should be a curve that opens downward. For a negative slope at E and a negative slope at a point B. So, what will be the moment at B? The moment at B is expected to be zero since that is a, a roller support. Okay, just for checking, we have the moment at B is equal to, okay, that will be equal to the moment at E, okay, plus the area of the shear diagram for the segment okay, E2, E2B. Right, okay, so what is the moment at, uh, we have at point E. We have the moment at B is equal to the moment at point E is equal to 1,807.696. Okay, that area, okay, that area from uh, from E to B is area of a, a trapezoid. So how do we compute for the area of the trapezoid? That is the average of the parallel bases. That is negative 30.769 plus the negative. This is negative uh, 330.769. Uh, this is we average divided by 2. And I uh, multiplied by the sp uh, sp span of segment EB. Uh, this is I uh, multiplied by uh, 10 meters. Okay, segment EB is uh, 10 meters. Okay, computing for the moment at B, but again, it is expected to be 0 since this is, this is a roller support. Uh, just one way to check if we uh, uh, do our moment diagram uh, right. So that is 1,807.696. This is plus. Uh, this is a negative by 30.769 plus. Okay, we have negative uh, 330.769. This is divided by 2. Then multiplied by the length of uh, segment EB is 10 meters. And this is equal to? Okay, we have 6 times 10 raised to negative 3. Or we may say that uh, that value is very, a very small value. A very negligible value. So again, that is approximately equal to a 0. And what will be the opening of the curve for our moment diagram for that last uh, segment? It should be a curve that opens downward. So a curve that opens downward, I2, 0. And this is a, I, a second degree curve. Okay, so this will be our I moment diagram. Okay, the moment diagram for this beam.